this tutorial, I am going to show you how to replace the lamp in a strong 575 follow spot. The first thing that you must do is remove the back panel from the follow spot. There are three pull rivets on the back that need to, that you just pull on in order to remove the back plate. Now, one of mine has failed, so I had to replace it with a push rivet. Once your three posts are removed, pull gently on the back to open up the cowling. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to tighten down the follow spot yoke so that way it won't tilt up or down while you are working on the light. Please notice that this is secure. After you do this, you're going to want to find the three screws along the side of your follow spot. There are three flathead screws on the bottom, and then there's also one on the top of the follow spot that also must be removed. I've went ahead and sped up the film for this part of the cowling removal. Once those screws are removed, lift gently from the back of the cowling in order to release it from the lamp housing. Now this might re require a little bit of tapping as these things get dinged up every now and again and lose their shape. You'll want to pull it straight back off of the reflector, leaving the reflector dish in place. Here you can see the lamp attached to a rear support collet, as well as in the front sitting on the front support yoke. Please note that there is a lead at the front that needs to be taken care of once we remove the lamp assembly from the follow spot. The next thing that needs to be done is to remove the lamp from the rear support collet. This can be done by loosening a 5 ths Allen wrench screw that is at the top. Again, for brevity's sake, I've sped up the film at this point. As you rotate the follow spot around, you will notice that the front lead connects to the lamp support yoke by a banana clip. Just follow the lead down to the base and pull gently, and the banana clip will come out of the base foot. Then you may gently pull on the lamp, removing the entire lamp assembly from the follow spot. At this point, I like to move to a flat surface to work. Here you see the banana clip and the lead attached to the lamp. The new lamp out of its box, you will notice, looks a little bit differently. So let me get that out. For the moment, set aside any paperwork as well as alcohol weapons if it comes. You'll notice that the new lamp is shorter. There's a barrel and attached to the lead at the top. So you're going to want to take off the threaded nut at the top of the old lamp and remove the lead. You will also want to keep this barrel at the top as it does not come on your new lamp. So remove it gently. All of this should be thumb tightened and it shouldn't be difficult to remove. Go ahead and discard your old lamp. Your new lamp, being careful not to touch the glass, will be removed from its package and it will come with two threaded nuts on either end. Take those off and set them aside, replacing one end with the barrel. The other nut is not needed for this particular light. You may set it aside. I like to keep them for future use. Once the barrel is in place, be sure to put your lead back on and using the new thumb screw, go ahead and tighten that down. Again, just tight as to the hand. You don't need to tighten it down with any tools. Your lamp is assembled and ready for installation in your follow spot. Coming back over to your follow spot with your assembled lamp, be sure that you pay attention to where the seal on the lamp is as this will create a shadow whichever direction it is. I prefer to have my shadow down with this brand light. Some lights will seal it out at the tip in that case, you want to make sure that the seal envelope is away from the reflector bowl. At this point, once you seat it securely back in the rear collet, you want to make sure that you go ahead and tighten down the Allen screw again. Then take the lead coming off the front of the lamp and replace it in the receptacle at the base of the yoke foot.
The last thing that you need to do before you start trying to focus your follow spot is to make sure that the quartz envelope on the lamp is absolutely clean. Now, I use an alcohol wipe in order to do this. This may come with your lamp depending on the brand that you buy. Otherwise, you can buy these online for fairly cheap. Be absolutely certain as you do this not to accidentally touch the lamp with your hand as the oil will cause the lamp to rupture and explode into the spotlight. I like to take the opportunity to clean the reflector bowl behind the lamp at this time because I typically don't have the cowling off the spotlight so this is a good time to remove all the dust and grime that's there. As you do that, again, don't touch the lamp. Okay, at this time we're ready to put the cowling back on. Make sure that you insert the cowling into the two grooves on either side of the reflector dish housing. Again, this can be a little tricky because most likely with a spot like this old, it's been dinged around a little bit and doesn't sit perfectly on. So a little bit of finagling is necessary in order to have this be accomplished. And of course, a few well-placed taps. And at this point, you're ready to move over to the video that tells you how to focus your lamp in the spotlight. Congratulations.